Hi everyone and welcome to DTF Down to Films Quarantine Edition. I'm Melissa and for those of you who don't remember me, in my last episode I switched bodies with my friend Shavon and since then, proud to say we have not switched bodies, we still see each other but you know we keep our distance because social distancing and also because we don't want to switch bodies again. Very weird experience. Anyway, since coronavirus and quarantine started, um, I've been staying home. I have not gone outside. Um, it's a little weird because, you know, I used to take my pet fish for walks and now I can't. Want to go for a walk today? Either of you? Have a nice little leash. So it's a little weird, but you know, I guess they adjust to it because they seem a lot happier now that they're not going for walks. I don't get it. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing on my 3D DS. And yeah, it's been a really fun three months. But yeah, other than that, um, I graduated. I'm also trying to become TikTok famous. So I've been making a lot more TikToks and I've been getting pretty noticed, so you know, I started off with one like or two likes, and now I'm up to eight likes, so definitely going strong. Yeah, and that's just, that's been my life. TikTok, Animal Crossing, sleeping, eating, working, and feeding my fish. Yeah. It's been a great three months, you know, still going strong, hoping that the fourth month when we're still in lockdown, um, will be the same. I don't need any more distractions from what I've been doing every day. I got a good steady schedule. Yeah, so hoping for month four to just as strong. You're a fucking moron. Ew, I love it. Fucking fucking fuck. Black mask. Woo! You don't mess with Roman Sionis. I fool you so tiresome. So what's up, everybody? My name is Greg Schmidt. Uh, I was in an episode of DTF. Uh, that was this one. Someone say we I forgot the name of it, but that's okay because we'll uh, edit that in. So yeah, everyone really knew me as kind of like the uh, the great uncle that everyone likes. But uh, then Alyssa asked me if I was DTF. I replied a little too enthusiastically, and that kind of went from everyone's favorite uncle to everyone's creepy uncle. So yeah, in that episode of DTF, I play a Weeboo hunter. Uh, so that was from an inside joke that we had that we just love anymore. God, college was a fucking weird time. I was, like, always the cop guy. I bought a police vest at one point, and they just wanted to throw me in that police vest any time possible. I was in probably three or four different shorts where I was in a police vest, and I got so much goddamn use out of that vest. It was phenomenal. Yeah, so working from home is great. It has not changed a single thing aside from the fact that I don't leave my house ever. It's phenomenal. Oh, just guys, not even a fucking Zoom meeting. I've been spending a lot of time working, refining my craft, just working just as hard as I normally would be. Okay, okay, pornhub.com. Enter. <laughs> uh, hey, look, it's my three o'clock. Uh, so quiet. That thing has changed at all. The big thing I was spending my time on though is I finally formed an LLC which is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time it's a really interesting thing really not a terribly difficult process but definitely one that I'll, like it took me a while to finally get around to doing and what's really great is the quarantine has given me time to really work on those nice business tactics hey it's Steven remember me I made a video for your kids bat mitzvah yeah where's my fucking money Steven son of a bitch Tell your wife I said, hey, fucking asshole, give me my goddamn money. But everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to hear me out. Uh, stay safe, wash your hands, uh, don't touch your butt, don't touch other people's butts. Wash your hands again just to be safe. Wear a mask, and 5G is not the cause of coronavirus. You can quote me on that one.
Bye everyone. Oh, didn't realize you guys were in here. <sighs> um, well, I've been out of work for at least a hundred days now. It's been kind of tough. Been uh trying to find ways to keep myself busy. So my birthday just recently passed, and I decided since I'm not going out any place, why not buy myself some new film equipment? And one of my favorite things so far I got was the crane, and it helps stabilize your videos. I've had a lot of fun using it these past couple of days, but it is kind of heavy. So naturally I decided, hey, maybe I should try and work out during this hiatus I have at work since I have all the free time right now. Another piece of equipment I bought is this really cool lighting kit. It I've never had a really good lighting kit before, so I'm really glad I bought this. The lighting kit itself is also pretty heavy, but work through it. It actually has different modes and you can control it from this app that you can get on your phone and from there you can change all the colors, the brightness, the temperature of it. It's amazing. Like I said before, I'm kind of been out of a job for a hundred days now and I've been out of a job for a hundred days um, anyway so since I've been out of a job uh, I've been kind of waiting for that email saying hey guys we're gonna come back so I've just been checking my email every day Sometimes I refresh it just in case, like, hey, maybe they just sent it and I haven't gotten it yet, but so far, um, no. I really want to go back to work. Everything all belongs to me. I want this all. Everything, including you. You're in my pocket now. You see, 2020 has been quite the events. So many losses. It's time we won. Don't you think? It's time I won. Because I've just seen all of this going on. A lot of chaos. But it's not my chaos. My chaos is when we're all win. And that is what we are for. That is what DTF is for. Yeah, I know it's been a while since we've caught up with DTF. And you've been seeing DTF on my channel, The Director's Chair. And I'm going to need you to go subscribe to that. Go do that. This. This is much more than that. This is my control. This is my era, and I want you a part of it. Mine, you wouldn't have such tragedies. My chaos, we create. We create with film. DTF, which is why. I have made the grand decision telling you all right now DTF will return to be back better than ever so much 
better. Woo! And we are getting a full movie. Entire storyline. You will get it and catch up with all of us. But for now, enjoy this. Hey everyone, welcome to Down to Film Quarantine Edition. I'm Mike, and if you haven't remembered me, my last DTF episode involved me and my capstone, and how stressed I was, and how I fainted a lot. But good news is, I did my capstone, I finished it, I got a good grade on it, and I was very happy with that. Uh, I did graduate that same year, in December of 2019. Uh, after that, I... Uh, got into the Disney College program in Anaheim, California, so I worked at Disneyland for a little while. Um, I was supposed to be there from January to August of 2020, but unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, I was let go, and I came home in the middle of March. So, and I've been stuck in quarantine ever since. So, my quarantine, it's it's been good. It's been going good so far. I mean, I'm, I'm more aware of the things that are around me. Now, like, just for example, last week I found out that my door to my bedroom is in fact white. Yeah, didn't know that. I thought it was chocolate at first, because it was white, and I like white chocolate. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. I found out that I have a downstairs that's pretty damn roomy. Yeah. And most importantly, I found out that there was something called an outside. Oh, and it's my beautiful. God. Believe this me. This is amazing. It's wonderful. Why don't other people know about this? So, slowly my mental health is deteriorating, you know, but I'm taking it one day at a time. But there is good news Disneyland and Disney World is opening back up soon in uh, July. So, I will be able to apply again for the college program once August comes around and so I'm just waiting for that and uh, for some odd reason people are still still even during the quarantine they're still calling me White Castle I mean I, I just I don't I don't know why it, it's just no I don't know you know it's just I never understood it but I hope everybody's doing okay Stay safe, social distance, and just be happy. Hello everyone, Kyle DiLorenzo here, and I hope that you've all been well. I know it's been a while since the last time I've seen you guys, but uh, it took a long time for me to escape those woods. I mean, I was lost for a few months back there. I had to resort to eating all kinds of things just to survive. See, being trapped in those woods taught me one thing. Nature sucks. See, my time back home, I developed a new passion, a new love. A love for technology. Hey babe, this night has been an absolute dream come true. What do you say after dinner we go back to my place? The home point has been updated. But, more specifically, drones, and aerial cinematography at that. See, the beautiful thing about flying drones is that you can do it all by yourself. <sighs> Finally. See, what I like about drones is that it's almost like playing a video game, but has real-life consequences. Since quarantine's been going on, I've got a lot of extra time to practice lately. So here's a few lessons that I've learned. Number one, and I think this is actually before, always pay attention and never get distracted. It's always a good idea to have even someone else watching you as a visual observer. So that way, even if you get distracted, you have a friend watching your back. Two, make sure you guys get a memory card with a fast enough read and write speed. 
So this is a mistake that I made, is that uh, I put in one of my older memory cards, and I didn't realize that the read and write speeds on the card were too low. So when I got the footage back into my computer, they were a solid 8 frames per second, so totally unusable, total waste of time. So make sure you guys don't make this mistake and get a fast enough memory card. Number three, time of day when you guys record makes a huge difference in the quality of your recordings. Golden hour is just an incredible time to record, sunset, sunrise. I mean, if you guys have the option to record during then versus when the sun is directly overhead at noon, definitely make sure to take advantage of that amazing lighting. So with that being said, here were a few cool shots like over the past few weeks. Enjoy. You're still here. Why is that? Is there something you need? Suppose. A little context for your black mask. Don't forget it. What is this? Ew. Ugh, get out of my face. Disgust me. I said get out! <laughs> 